can tell what this is because it's on the screen. So, yes. Uh, another game that I want to do to everybody. Although, this is sort of... Yeah. The best thing I can say is if you want to play this game, play it. Because I think I'm pretty much going to complete it all, at least in this run. Because it's a relatively short thing to do. But uh, it's nice and fun and child friendly as well. If you want to play it with your kids or anything, you have the children. Oh wow, as I try and get the focus back on. So yeah, this is Frog Detective. It's part of, I think it's only available as a trilogy now. You get them together, I think. <clears throat> Let me double check on the Steam page. Now, you can buy them separately, but obviously the bundle is uh, just as key. Uh, so, yeah, this is the first of the trilogy, at least as of now. So, we'll see. Right. Let's play Frug Detect. Well, so Frug is... That's, that's, a, that's a VTuber. Anyway. Oh, we've, we, it's Waster. Got a Waster. Yo. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. Who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How's things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat Tatankam Bali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I got a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. I'm hot. I've got to hold on as well. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. So he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help and they want the greatest investigator that I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. I just noticed a picture in the background. <laughs> I believe in you, Detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises about his island. Mm. Calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Let's grab our uh, magnifying glass. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Yo! <clears throat> Ooh. I don't... Oh, whatever. Time to solve a mystery. Grace Brooks and the presents. A frog detective adventure. Hey, this is just... As you can see, a very minimal team.
starring the detective. Martin! Larry! Mo, the mouse, mouse. Bernie, guessing the koala. Fresh X, what the hell? <clears throat> and the rep. Okay. Case number one the Haunted Island. Notes, hmm, maybe a man in a suit. Okay, we've got other people, but we'll talk to him first. It's the first one we see. Mystery monkey. <laughs> oh, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who's behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Okay. Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online non line name. You just call me Mystery Monkey. <laughs> of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Oh, questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Ah, very interesting. I'll investigate. Uh, who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. Whoa, sick burn. <laughs> I'll check it out. Thank you. I think that's all we can do right now. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Right, so where's, La well, where's Larry, I think? No, some whole noises need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghost? I'm not qualified. There's a, ma a magnet here. This might come in handy. Oh, nice. We'll see what else is around. Ooh. He's happy. Fresh X being fresh. There's some bug. We've got another starfish over here. Oh, I don't. I don't just. I can do it with a space bar as well. That's some good mac and cheese. Oh, but it's not mine. Oh, okay. Digital, we just got the broom, okay. He's very fidgety. Martin in. That's a stick insect. Alright, let's do as he says. Let's chat to Larry. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hello, I didn't do it. The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't even make the noises. 
No, I heard. It's just I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you going to ask me questions? Yeah. Ask me them. The questions I mean. So about the noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. Huh? What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive... What? Is it, yeah, is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of us is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Where is this book? Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients. <laughs> Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, the questions I mean. Well, I don't have it. Well... We know what the ingredients are. What's this? Oh, I see. That's the prompter. And we know what the ingredients are, so. Uh, let's go to the monkey and see if the monkey has any help as to who we should talk to f third, I guess. Oh. I have no other things to uh, prompt. Right, let's chat with uh, the koala here. I can't remember their name. Bernie. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that the monkey keeps going on about? That me. I'm so glad they finally brought somebody else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Well, why did you take it then? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else? What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But, it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a national creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Ah, that's a lot of good info, thank you. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you know. <laughs> Animate a wink. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. I'm guessing it's Bernie's pasta, so we've got to get in a magnifying glass to get at least that part of the ingredient. Well, in the face. Well, here he is. Let's have a chat with Fresh X. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> the detective is man spreading. If it's a man, of course. That's a, that. Hello. <laughs> Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? <laughs> yes. 
Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D Tech. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. Very important to take a break and get some sun. Hey, yeah, you're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. <laughs> uh, oh, the smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Huh? Thank you. I'm so glad somebody finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth whitening cool pace for teeth. Trademark. Of course. <clears throat> Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth whitening control pace for teeth. Trademark. <clears throat> I get a shipment here every three days. I get through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some on my own? Do, do you have teeth? Uh, well, I could give you my chew. But I need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Okay. So we need something for... Fresh X. Oh, God. Oh. This koala looks unhappy. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming? But there's a storm. Ah, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? There's no ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't know that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Oh, we're sorted. Huh? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is attached to a magnet to a boat and hold on. Why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. <clears throat> nice. Right? I don't have an idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Uh, about the ghost. What can you tell me? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Uh, maybe two weeks? Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Oh, I don't know. You should probably check. Maybe later. Well, the magnet, we have that. I bought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Oh, you happy. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. I guess that's the advantage of picking it up early. Oh, hold on, didn't notice that. Remember. Do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. It's pretty cool. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Science line, don't go in. Ooh. <laughs> I should have listened to the sign. You have wool by the looks of it, so that's... Noodle! Hey, how's it hanging? Ah, uh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? 
you're warm. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had to trim in ages, it's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone's grossed out by it. Oh, surely that's not true. Ah, eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. Haha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made out of your slime? What? Ooh. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kind of gross anyway. I'm saying that as somebody who's very slimy. <laughs> wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of somebody wearing wool. I mean, that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt that you're wearing is wool. What? <laughs> I'm wearing another sheep's hair? Oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. Happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, uh, yes, please, but you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? <laughs> Uh, we'll leave the broom thing. We'll go to the hole. What can you tell me about the hole? I hate it. Why? It never does anything. But it's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not hole. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss? Who's the boss? I... Don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Well, we got your broom, so... Hey, I got the broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thank you, Detective. Can I keep this broom? Ah, uh, sure. Can I keep you wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew! <laughs> Can we chat with you any further? I may not have the answers, but go ahead, ask. Okay, there isn't. I feel I want to talk to Martin last, because he seems pretty sus. Wait, what? Who was that? I mean, I know who it is, but, uh, you won't know who it is. First time I've seen him that close. But that is an Easter egg of sorts. That's all I'll say. Right. Mouse. Mo the mouse. I remember your name. Hi. Hello. You okay? Yes. <laughs> you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. Huh? If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing? That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? 
Question? Yes. Are you obviously nervous? May I ask why? Because uh, of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid? Fine, you've worn me down. Damn you extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Huh? Mystery Monkey's a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case it makes everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. That's useful. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Question. The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost! Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost scientist, not toe scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toe scientist. Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast? Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. So we can't get the bottle yet, because we need to have a word with Mr. and Monkey. Well, you have a magnifying glass, so that might be good. Whoa! Ah, stop right there! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah! Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specifically made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions? Ask me questions, just be careful. We have a shell, but that might be it. But anyway, the cave. Do you know anything about the cave? Oh, uh, what? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave, for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> the shells. Why don't you get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be then useless to me. But I do... But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. We may have one for you. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at tiny shells, but I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thank you. 
You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. There's the magnifying glass. Right. What are you up to, Martin? Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess I just don't look spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. So I'm so cranky I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley only cares about the dance competition. Now, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, dance competition? You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Who's Finley? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw them, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It is tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete, what with this whole spooky situation going on. So, these noises... Where are they coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says most ghosts can't be seen. And get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. <laughs> Don't think that's how it works, Martin. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just a ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read about them on the cyberweb.com. But now I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of the things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark? Just like the conclusion to this tale. So I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand that, you know, ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach. Surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize it on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yeah, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thank you so much, Detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Well, I didn't think of it that being the bit of pure gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. <laughs> it's gold member. I like gold. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and 
there's the uh, the chunk of crown that's missing as well. Uh, is our mystery person back? Yep. So, oh no, we need to give them the mouthwash. But we need to talk to Mystery Monkey. <clears throat> Dance styles. Hey, so uh, you. Um you like dancing and uh, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario you'd be most likely like, this is such a great dance. What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, uh... I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. I think Mo the Mouse has got a point. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. Ah, that's all right. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Got a monkey fat. Well, time to head to Mo. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Whew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. Gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Oh, cheers. Oh. Well, yeah, the, the mannerisms are right. I mean, that's... Guess that's break dance. I'm I'm willing to s hold, hold. No, 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 no more. Why is he there? Stay tuned for future videos on this channel explaining why. <laughs> right. So who need the magnifying glass? think you did, Larry? Oh, no we didn't. Is it... Oh, fresh... No. You wanted them our magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. <gasps> interested? Are you kidding me? There's literally, very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Anything I can help you with? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I'll give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. There's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy. It's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satisfied from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever, would you like the pasta? Hell yeah. All yours. Nice, so that's part three of the ingredients. Okay. 
I can't get any further down. What a great hole. Right, fresh X. You need uh, your mouth wash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tech. So we've got all four ingredients. You got anything else? That's a no. Right, I guess we're ready to talk to you. To everybody else that we've talked to. More questions? Ask me them, the questions I mean. Wow. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow! You got everything? Yep. Amazing. Should we make some more dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite and then we can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, we did it. Spooky cave. Spooky cave. We can't leave. Oh. And we can't get out. Great. Uh, well, I don't hear any ghost. Oh, hi. Oh, that's Finley. Ha! Ah, who are you? Are you a ghost? Ha <laughs> ha, what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley? I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Oh, yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Um, Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Ha-ha, <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps, and these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. In this cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave's been blocked off by rocks. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. 
Yeah, you could have died. Ha <laughs> ha. Better than actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Finley? Hi, Martin. Sorry, when I looked at that, I thought that was like a weird sort of hair, like Elvis quaff. It's just the cave. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noise from her radio carried up to the surface. It sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nah, just me. Just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are without exception. Factually inaccurate. Yep. Oh... <laughs> Is the developer. <laughs> Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Somebody's gonna complain that this is woke. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. <laughs> sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you've been practicing for the competition this whole time. Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry. I think we need more entrance, though. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well... Let's move the composition to today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A reference for anybody that follows WWE there. Uh, before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noise was coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster, the one that talks over everybody? Yeah. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So shall we boogie? Let's go. Oh. Or cutscene. <laughs> Maybe. Whoa! Oh, it's the credits. Yeah, the frog's getting at it. I mean, they're all having a good groove. All the background's going crazy. Or the wombat, or whatever he is. <laughs> oh! Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute, who's judging? Oh, Frog Detective's gonna do it. Oh god, so we've got So we got fresh eggs. It's pretty good. Martin's grooving. Duck is ducking. 
was he doing? He, he was doing much fancier stuff just earlier. Oh, he's doing a twist. Mystery monkey. He's doing a lot of hands. Yo, Mo doing the robot. Simple dancing. And body popping. Oh, Larry. And me looking like a drunk idiot. <laughs> get to choose who won? Oh, I do! Uh, to be honest, out of a lot of them... Mystery Monkey might have been the best. In all honesty. Oh, Mystery Monkey gets the flowers. I guess that's the only sort of bit of the cutscene that would be different depending who you select. So I can't select. I, I was going to say, could I select myself and just throw, put the cheat in? But no. Wow. See, about, about an hour, if that. Relatively short, but it's fun. And. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. Oh, nice. We have a picture on my news of a happy day. Hey. Uh oh. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help? Detective, a ah, supervisor. Great work on the haunted island mystery. Thanks, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. Detective's a good point. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about you dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. James Bond, will, he, he's not a James Bond, will return in the case of the Invisible Wizard. Okay. Is that where it ends? Yes, there we go. So, uh, somewhere down the line, we'll be coming back. Because this detective is very froggy. Um, as I switch over to let the music quietly play in the background. Thank you for watching this full playthrough, I guess, of uh, Frog Detective 1. We'll get to 2 and 3 somewhere down the line. Um, but check out all the other content here on the channel. Um, my, uh, gaming, st other gaming stuff, as well as, uh, Snack Snashes, Owen Sip and Snacks of Voice Liberty content, AJ's Movie Reviews and Verses, our Popcast Movie Club, uh, content, and, uh, Q&As as well for you to catch up on, on, uh, the big stuff, at least for the next week or two. Our awards coverage. As we get closer and closer to the Globes, we will be talking over that. Uh, I believe on Monday, like the day after. 
I've also got Critics' Choice. Um, the BAFTA long lists are out, so we might be discussing them. Although more precisely for... Um, maybe for nominations. I don't know. We'll, we'll work that out. So keep your eyes peeled to the channel. Uh, Owen will uh, keep you up to date on uh, their Twitter slash X, at Sir Owen Disney. I can be found at Ashes My Name UK, which you've got the details in the description. Uh, and then the usual like, comment, subscribe, and uh, enable notifications by clicking on the bell and everything. So with that, thank you, and uh, I don't have a magnifying glass. Hmm. Nuts.